Hello friends and greetings to all of you. As is the tradition, we always seek the blessings of the Lord Almighty before starting anything. Hi, I'm Dr. Nikhil Bahuguna, a conservative dentist and an endodontist. And what uh, you see on the page is my journey through the last 16 years in dentistry. I stay in Noida where I maintain a small practice by the name of Demystifying Smiles, which is totally dedicated to endodontic treatment, retreatment and minimally invasive cosmetic dentistry. Today's effort is to discuss a conservative management of white spot lesion by resin infiltration. Well, before we start how to manage it, let us have a look at what these white spot lesions are. These white opaque lesions on the tooth are as a result of subsurface enamel demineralization, which is located on the smooth surfaces of teeth. They are not only a result of demineralization, but also as fluorosis, hypomineralization, hypomaturation and hypoplasia. The reason why they appear white is because of the optical properties of the decalcified enamel which get changed and light scattering happens. If we see histologically it's comprised of four zones. The first zone which is relatively unaffected loses about 1 to 10 percent of minerals. It's about 20 to 100 micron thick. The second which is the active body of the lesion. The largest portion of the affected enamel and has lost more than one quarter of the mineral content. The third is the dark, very porous zone, which loses about 6% of mineral content. And the last is the translucent zone. Though it's the advancing front, but it's more porous than sound enamel, but lesser than the dark zone. About 1% mineral is lost here. So that's how it appears histologically. A lot of treatment options have been suggested, like fluoridation, remineralization, microabrasion, erosion and infiltration, as you'll see today. But friends, one word of caution, bleaching should be avoided as a treatment protocol here because bleaching may turn the white spots to even whiter spots and we may end up having a disastrous result. The product that I'll be using to treat this white spot lesion in the subsequent video is Icon. It's a product by a company called DMG. It's a relatively new product for the management of such incipient lesions. It's very little in terms of invasiveness as there are no drills, there's no anesthesia required. It's a cosmetic option for management of such white spots. It can be used in the initial caries uh, lesions even for proximal caries management. It comprises of three parts, the Icon H, which is hydrochloric acid, also has pyrogenic silicic acid and some surface active substances. The Icon Dry, which is 99% ethanol, and the icon infiltrant, which is a myth acrylase based resin matrix along with initiatives and additives. So this was a young girl who reported to us with a disturbing central incisor because the white spot was very evident and she wasn't happy with that. We decided to do resin infiltration here. As always, we isolate the tooth with rubber dams so that there is no gingival irritation with, because of the acid. Please remember any cosmetic treatment on the front teeth or anywhere in the mouth, clean the tooth nicely with a prophylaxis brush and a non-fluoridated paste so that there is no interference in bonding and we also have a surface which is clean of any plaques, livery pellicle or any surface impurities. Now, an icon edge is the first step that is done. It is activated onto the surface for about 30 seconds. It's available in its syringe and a dispenser. So all we have to do is just gently scrub for about 30 seconds on the lesion and slightly beyond it. Once that is done, we leave it for two minutes to act. Now this is 15% hydrochloric acid, which is going to start the initial etching on the tooth so that the surface gets exposed. It dissolves the thin layer of remineralized enamel, which covers the demineralized tissue. Then comes the second step, which is the Icon Dry, 99% ethanol, to dehydrate and expose the surface completely. It's available with a small tip. We just have to apply onto the tooth and let it just act there. Make sure if there's any excess, it is removed with the help of a suction device. 
The idea of doing etching and dehydrating is to make sure that the lesion is completely visible. But as we see on the screen right now, the lesion is not completely visible and looks as if it's covered with some demineralized area on top. If that happens, we need to repeat the etch and dry cycle. So once we repeat the etch and dry cycle, again the same etchant for about 30 seconds activation, 2 minutes of drying cycle and then the icon dry. After two cycles, this is how the lesion appeared and now we can see the white spot very clearly. Then comes the decisive step wherein we use the resin infiltration. It's available in a syringe with a padded uh, applicator. We have to apply it and cure it for 40 seconds. Once it is nicely applied onto the tooth surface, cure it. I always try to do it a second application and cure again because maybe due to the polymerization shrinkage of resin, we may not have had the best results. So we usually prefer two applications. The first application, wait for about a few seconds, cure it, then the second application which completely penetrates into the lesion and seals the surface. This resin filtration is a minimally invasive restorative treatment option for such white spot lesions. All lesions which come to us as congenital hypocalcified enamel, hypospots, enamel bruisings, congenital enamel defects which may be caused by trauma or some infection involving the primary teeth. That was our immediate post-op result friends. It takes about less than 10 minutes to complete the entire cycle with the maximum results possible. It's simple, conservative and the patient had immediate gratification. So that was the journey we shared from a white spot lesion to our interop procedures to a result which was maximally effective. As the saying goes, there is fear when frowning but there is love when smiling. So as healthcare providers, as dentists, let us try and find options which are minimally invasive and maximally effective to give the best smile to our patients. Well, thank you for your time. From my educational endeavor at UR Delhi, from my practice and my Noida Center Demystifying Smiles and my Indo Haveli family, I would like to thank you again for your time. Wishing you all a very happy dentistry. May God bless you all. Thank you very much.